Hi, your instructor Edson here. In this class, we're learning how to create an icon in the purest UI style for the player to have information about its gameplay. With your Unity open, let's start using the ProBuilder package installed later in our editor. Let's start our settings to create our first icon. In the hierarchy panel, click on the main camera. Look on the right side of your screen. In the Spectre panel, the camera is selected. Scroll down and look for Projection. Let's send it to Orthographic view. See in the Scene panel how the main camera icon has already changed. Let's make a change to the size of this projection. Go back to the Spectre panel and under Camera, change the size of value to 38.97. In the Transform tab, change the X axis position to the value of 39.4, Y axis to the value of 1, and Z axis to the value of minus 20. Look at the camera view, still in a spectral panel. In the camera tab, in peer flags, let's choose solid color. Click on background and let's change the color to 100% black. Look at the change in the main camera. Now let's go to the right panel again and let's select the Pro Builder tab. Click on New Shape. This will open a new window. In the Create Shape window, click on the cube icon. Open in Properties. Change the X and Y axis to the value of 10. And the Z axis to the value of 0.1. Select our newly created object and go to the Spectre panel again. We for a cube object selected. Go to the Transform tab, change the X-axis positions to minus 27.13 and Z to 0.3. Now go to the Game tab and observe our icon shape the object that will compose our UI. Now we need to change our window view to full HD format, 1920 by 1080. We needed to change the axis of rotation of this object to have a correct view through our camera. Change the Y rotation axis to minus 180. See the icons for changing our object just above. We have the object selection icon, the vertices selection icon, the edges selection icon, and the faces selection icon. I'll hover the mouse over it so you can see the description of each one. Select again the tab on the right and click on Pro Builder. Click on the face selection icon, click on the small window on the left, on the scale 2, click on the object, hold and drag, form an edge. With ProBuilder selected, go down and right in that version and click on extrude face. Select Extrude by Face Normal and the Distance 3 negative. Notice how you change the depth of the window on your object. Click on the Edge icon so that we can change the position of the object's edges. Select these edges with the Shift key pressed.
Click again on scale tool so that we can scale these edges as follows. See how our icon object turned out in the game window. I deleted the material folder to show you how to create one from scratch. If you don't know, right click on the assets folder and click on create new folder. Let's rename this new folder to materials. Open the folder and create material. Rename it to icon. This material will represent the main color of the icon. Let's create one more material. And call it border. This material will represent the icon's border color. In the right panel in Pro Builder, click on Material Editor. We will add the first material with the name of border, and we will add it in the third batch. And in the second batch, we will place the material icon. Click on Object in the scene. Click on the face icon and click on Alt plus 2 button to add material to the object's face. So let's select the entire edge of the object and in the same way add the next material one edge of the object. Let's select the icon material and we'll go to the spectra panel. Click on the color icon and let's change the color of the material to a gray tone. Select the second material border. Let's add a value of uh, 0 0.5 in metallic and the smoothness 0 0.6. Change the color to a golden tone. Let me hit this edge, which doesn't seem to have received the material correctly. Click on the game tab and view the result of your icon. If you prefer, you can find the color referring to gold by searching the internet. See an example here. You can copy this example color and select the material. Go to the inspector panel, click on the material color to make the change and apply the value that was copied to the hexadecimal. I would keep the value of the previous material. I will just make some changes to metallic and smoothness Always try to check uh, if the result is close to what you want. Select the cube object and let's change its name because we will duplicate this object with other names. Click on the object with the right mouse button and you will duplicate this object and rename it. Select the second object and let's change its placement relative to the first object. In the Spectre panel, with the object selected, go to Transform and we will change the values between the axes of the selected object. I'm going to speed up the video at this point because it's just replay and tweaks.
Now we have our icons set up. Congratulations on getting this far. This class is very important for the project we'll develop. Let's rename the material with gold color to better identify it. Let's duplicate the material and change it to silver color. Let's apply material with a different color to the edges of the icons. I believe it will be more interesting to differentiate the other side. Save your project. Your icon is now ready.